So a lot of people have been asking me about about my sleds. So here, here I'm gonna do a little walk around video of them, explain what they are. So this right here, pretty much the famous sled so far. This is pretty much all my videos are based on. This is a 2016 MXZ 600 RS factory race sled from Skidoo. And uh, I picked it up from, from a guy in Kijiji back when I was 14, a couple years back. And when I bought it, it only had about like 300 uh, kilometers on it. So it was still basically a brand new sled when I bought it. And all that's been done to it really is uh, the hot start's been disconnected to run out of pump gas. And uh, a little bit of clutching's been done to it. Just so it doesn't engage you around like 6,000 RPMs. And uh, it's been rejetted too. Show you nothing really to show you on this side. I'll show you over here, and I got a MBRP race can on it. This sounds really good. This is like the loudest sled around here, or lo loudest sled. I've heard, other than twin pipes, which I've been debating on getting, because that would be just awesome. Yeah, that's basically it for this. It's got a yellow CNA Pro skis, shocks, and everything else are stock. Handlebars are stock. I want to get new. I want to get bigger risers and new bars. Be able to do that next next season. Everything else is stock. I gotta redo the wiring. It look, it looks all junky. It's all over the place. It's basically it for this thing. I gotta need a new track too. Everything's falling apart. It's a inch and three quarters. It's just a snow cross track. Missing like half the lugs in it. It's time for a new one. A new one of that. I tried ordering one, but they like sold out in Canada. You can see right here, like the whole thing's just not a single lug. And this is my other slide here, my uh, 2020 MXZ 600 XRS. It's got a inch and a quarter track, which which just absolutely sucks in the deep snow. Good for trail and lake running, but absolutely sucks. It's got a uh, black CNAs on it. This thing's pretty much stock too. It's got a, I got a bigger riser on it, one of those adjustable ones. Got a LED bulbs in it. Look cool, and they're pretty bright. And the. And on this, uh, the RS I forgot to mention, it's got like 3,500 kilometers on it. This thing's got a uh, 4,000, I think. Yeah, 4,200, 4,200 kilometers. This thing's got a Jaws trail can on it. Sound actually sounds pretty good. No, it's not not too loud. It's not loud at all, unless you crack it. But like. Idle the mid range is it's really quiet. But it sounds really good when you when you hold her wide. I got the pull star here too. Doesn't come with it, I added that on. That's pretty much for this sled. Everything else is basically stock. Probably probably missing something, but and this here's my dad's sled. It's a 2020 MXZ XRS 850. He's got the same thing. He's got the LED bulbs. He's got a Jaws uh, trail can on it. Same deal. 
it, this thing is a little little bit louder than mine. Idled uh, mid range, just because it's an 850. It's got a little more power under the hood. That's about it. It's got those bright ass LED bulbs in it. He's got an inch and a quarter crack, same as mine. And that's basically it for, for our floods here. And then this thing here is a 2005 GSX 600. A lot, a lot of people have been asking me about this one. This isn't my sled, this is a buddy of mine. This is his sled. He's got a he just actually threw a new track on this thing. It's the same as ours, but with no studs. A uh, inch and a quarter ice cobra, I think it's called. Just he just threw that on there, about a month or so ago. And he's got a. He's also got the same can as as I do, the Jaws Trail can. On this thing, it sounds sweet. It sounds real good on this thing. Well, I think he should have got the race can. Would have, would have screamed a bit more. But whatever. She's still brats. And he, uh, he threw this new hood on this season. These new little headlight tints. Because he smashed up the old head sitting up there. Yeah, I think this thing's pretty much stock too, other than the the track and the can. Not really sure what else he's done to it. He put a. He's, he wants to get new riders too. Would he put these uh, hand guards on? Did a pretty good job of doing that. It's pretty much up for the sled lineup. Not much. I'm probably probably missing a bunch of things, but you know I don't like to go too crazy on them. I would like to get a bigger track for this thing. Bigger risers for the RS. Well, I'm definitely going to get bigger risers for the RS. Bigger track for the XRS would, would definitely help. Yeah, that's basically it for this. This thing is a beast, though. The RS in this now. Especially with this. Well, this thing, I need to get, get a new track for this, too. This is an inch and a three quarter track. I want to get like a inch and seven eighths or like a two inch. I'm not sure yet. I think like either inch and three quarter or inch and seven eighths. I think two inch would just be a little bit too big. Well, it'd be, it'd be perfect, but I'm just, I feel like I'd just rip it right off. Like the first ride, be a little bit, a little bit too, too big of a lug. It's got, it's got too much power for it too. It'd probably just, Rip it right off. That's what it's doing with this track. Yeah, I don't know what else to to say. We're all pretty much dialed in. I guess that's it for now. See you in the next writing video.